Hello, my name is Joshua Brown from the job aptitude testing website, howtobecome.com. And in this tutorial, I will teach you how to pass a metal assessment test. So if you have a metal test coming up, then please make sure you stick around until the end because I will help you to pass. To achieve that goal, this is what I'll cover. I'll start off by giving you the different types of metal test questions that will come up during your assessment. I'll then give you the step-by-step -step instructions on how to tackle certain metal assessment test questions. Plus, I'll give you plenty of essential tips to help you pass your metal assessment at the very first attempt. And finally, I'll then tell you where you can instantly access over 900 metal test practice style questions and the fully worked answers. So, just before we start, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I want to help you to pass your aptitude tests by giving you brilliant practice to the toughest metal test questions and I can only do that if you are subscribed. And please don't forget to hit that like button because this tells me you find these tutorials useful. Okay, let's start off by looking at this metal example style question. Question one is this. If John earns $15 per hour, and works for eight hours a day, how much does he earn working a six day week? Is it A, $90, B, $720, C, $840, or D, $480? Now this question type is called quantitative reasoning. The metal quantitative reasoning test assesses a candidate's ability to analyze, interpret, and draw conclusions from numerical data this test is typically 20 questions in 20 minutes and aims to evaluate a candidate's quantitative skills, problem solving abilities and logical reasoning concerning numerical data. So to work this question out, it's actually very simple. Step one, we first need to multiply $15 by the eight hours. So $15 multiplied by eight gives us $120. And then finally, we just need to multiply that $120 by the six days worked in a week. So $120 multiplied by six gives us $720. And you should be able to work that out without a calculator. And if you can't at the moment, that's absolutely fine. Just take lots of practice questions, take your time and get to a level where that's very simple for you to work out in your head. So the correct answer is B, $720. So now it's your turn. I want you to have a go at this yourself. And what I want you to do is let me know your answer in the comment section below. Well, I will mark it for you. I'll reply to everyone who leaves a comment on my channel. I will get back to you. And if you need any help, do let me know. So question two is this. If Maria earns $20 per hour and works five hours a day, how much does she earn in a five day work week? Is it A, $500, B, $200, C, $1,000, or D, $250. I'm going to give you just 20 seconds to work this out. You should be able to do it without a calculator, but if you need to pause the video to have more time, please do so. It's absolutely vital that you can do the foundations. If you can do the foundations of these questions and get them right, then you'll be able to tackle much more difficult questions later on. So your 20 second timer starts now. Great, how did you get on? Don't forget to let me know your answer option A, B, C or D in the comment section below the video. Question three is this. If a freelance graphic designer charges $30 per hour and completes a project in 10 hours over a span of three days, how much does the designer earn for the project? Is it A, $300, B, $900, C, $600 or D, $1,200? You have 20 seconds on the timer starting now. You're doing really great. Let's try one more question before moving on to the metal verbal reasoning test questions. This time, let's make the question slightly harder. 
Emily is a consultant who charges differently for weekday and weekend work. She charges $40 per hour on weekdays and $60 per hour on weekends. In one week, she worked six hours each day from Monday to Friday and four hours on Saturday. How much did she earn in that week? Okay, here are your answer options. A, B, C, or D. Just like before, I'm only gonna give you 20 seconds, but if you need to pause the video for more time, please do so. Your 20 second timer starts now. Now, how did you get on with that question? Do let me know your answer option in the comment section below the video and I'll mark it for you and get back to you with any tips if you need them. Something really important to tell you here is that in your actual metal quantitative reasoning assessment, you may be presented with graphs, tables or numerical series and asked to answer questions based on the information they provide. So graphs make it much more challenging to interpret the data needed. And if you would like to try hundreds of numerical questions to help you prepare for your assessment, then I have the perfect resource for you. And at any point during this tutorial, and only if you want to, you can click that link in the top right hand corner of this video or in the pinned comment below the video and head over to my website, howtobecome.com where you can access over 900 metal aptitude test preparation style questions, including the ones we're covering right now, plus the fully worked answers and the strategies to pass each question type to make you the standout candidate. Okay, I have plenty more questions for you. Let's move on to the verbal reasoning test now. So select the word which best fits the sentence. The success of the project was largely attributed to the team's blank and effective collaboration. Is that missing word A, innovation, B, diligence, C, confrontation, or D, indifference? Now the metal verbal reasoning test is designed to evaluate an individual's ability to understand and interpret information from written passages. It assesses skills such as reading comprehension, logical reasoning, and language proficiency. The test may include questions on identifying the main ideas, drawing conclusions, making inferences, and understanding the relationships between words. So this question here is quite a simple one again. What would you put here? Well, the correct answer is actually B, diligence. And the reason is diligence conveys a positive attribute that contributes to the success of a project, while the other options introduce different and potentially inappropriate meanings. So I now want you to practice some of these questions yourself, again, under timed conditions. So question six is this, select the one word which best fits in the sentence. The novel's deep impact on its readers can be ascribed to its blank, storytelling, and vivid character development. Is that missing word A, monotonous, B, lackluster, C, compelling, or D, fragmented? I'm going to give you just 10 seconds on the timer this time, but do let me know your answer in the comment section below. Your time starts now. Okay, great, let's try another one. Select the word which best fits the sentence. The chef's reputation for blank cuisine attracted food enthusiasts from all over the region. Is that missing word A, uninspired, B, ordinary, C, exquisite, or D, unpalatable? You have 10 seconds on the timer, starting now. Okay, let's move on to the metal logical reasoning test next. But before we do, don't forget that at any point during this tutorial, and only if you want to, you can click that link in the top right hand corner of this video and head over to my website, howtobecome.com, 
where you can access over 900 metal aptitude test preparation style questions, including all of the various verbal reasoning questions, such as reading comprehension, analogies, true and false statements, sentence rearrangement, and many, many more in that resource. Okay, let's now look at the logical reasoning test. Now the metal logical reasoning test is designed to assess an individual's logical reasoning and problem solving skills. Logical reasoning tests are commonly used by employers to evaluate how well candidates can analyze information, make decisions and solve complex problems. So let's take a look at one of those question types. Question eight is this, decide whether A, the conclusion follows or B, the conclusion does not follow. So here is the statement. Statement one, some birds can fly. Statement two, penguins are birds. Conclusion, therefore penguins can fly. So what would you put as your answer here? Well, while some birds can fly, the statement that penguins are birds does not imply that penguins can fly. So the correct answer is B, the conclusion does not follow. Now give one of those questions a go yourself. Decide whether A, the conclusion follows or B, the conclusion does not follow. Statement one, all mammals have a backbone. Statement two, dolphins are mammals. Conclusion, therefore dolphins have a backbone. You have 10 seconds to put your answer A or B in the comment section below this video, starting now. Many people really enjoy these question types. Let's try another one. Decide whether a conclusion follows or B, the conclusion does not follow. Statement one, all flowers need sunlight to grow. Statement two, roses are flowers. Conclusion, therefore roses need sunlight to grow. You have 10 seconds starting now. So the next thing to do is to please make sure you click that button in the top right hand corner of this video right now or in the pinned comment below this video and head through to my website howtobecome.com where you can get access to over 900 metal preparation style aptitude test questions and the fully worked answers to each question. You can literally have online access within two minutes from now and it's guaranteed to help you prepare effectively for your next job aptitude test and also more importantly put you ahead of the competition. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe as I'm on a mission to help as many people as possible pass their aptitude tests and their job interviews. And I can only do that if you are subscribed. Please also hit that like button as that encourages me to make more videos just like these. If you have any questions regarding any aptitude test question or question type, please do let me know in the comment section below this video where I will get back to you. And finally, don't forget to connect with me on LinkedIn. I've put my LinkedIn link in the description below. It's always great to connect with like-minded professionals such as yourself. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you all the best with your assessment. Have a brilliant day.